Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me welcome you at the International and Diplomatic Studies Master's Program Online Open Day. Uh, my name is Jan Martin Rollens and I'm the Academic Director of the program. Uh, together with Ms. Eva Griebe, who is the program coordinator, uh, and Patricia, who is our student ambassador, we will guide you today through some information about this master's program and uh, uh, what's going to happen now. So first, I'm going to have a very brief presentation about the university, the faculty and our program. Then I will ask Patricia, who's one of uh, the university's foreign students, to say a few words about her life in Prague and her experience with the University of Economics Prague. And then uh, there will be time for your questions and answers by my colleague, Ms. Eva Griebe, once again, who is the program coordinator. So this is us. Uh, uh, you will be able to get the presentation later and we are also recording the whole thing. So you can be sure you won't miss any information or any contacts, uh, you'll have it uh, also afterwards. Let me first uh, say a few words about the university. The university is called uh, Uni the University of Economics Prague. Uh, in the Czech language, it is Vysoká škola ekonomická v Praze, and that's why the abbreviation that we use is VSE. Uh, it is uh, the leading uh, and most prestigious university in the region of Central and Eastern Europe, and obviously also in the Czech Republic. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a public school which has six faculties, uh, approximately 15,000 students and over 220 partner schools worldwide. So it is uh, quite a large university focused on uh, the, the fields of economics, uh, management and business, but also other social sciences like uh, politics, law or international studies. Uh, the university in the past years uh, has uh, been awarded a uh, number of uh, prizes and awards uh, and has uh, succeeded in uh, global rankings such as in the Financial Times ranking or the Ed Universal ranking. So we are proud that we can be part of this university. Uh, our program is called International and Diplomatic Studies, uh, hence the, the abbreviation IDS. And uh, the IDS we are talking about today is uh, the two-year full-time master's degree program taught in English. Uh, apart from this, uh, we have also uh, other levels, which means a bachelor degree program and a PhD program. And all of these three levels are both taught in Czech language and English language. Uh, and those programs that are taught in English are abbreviated as IDS. So uh, when we talk about IDS, we either talk about our bachelor's, master's or PhD program. But today, as you are interested in studying a master's degree, we are talking about the IDSM as we abbreviate it. Our program is part uh, of the Faculty of International Relations. Uh, which is one of those six faculties of the university, uh, which also teaches programs such as international business or tourism uh, and other. And after uh, you uh, graduate from our program, since it's a master degree, you will uh, gain a degree uh, engineer, which is according to the Czech law 
linked to a study at a university of economics and business. Uh, now, why we think you would be interested in studying the IDS program, obviously the program uh, or our school is located in the beautiful city of Prague in the Czech Republic, which we call the heart of Europe. And uh, Prague is a place uh, where uh, you can easily live and study. Uh, it's been uh, repeatedly praised and awarded by international students uh, as a very good place to live in, very safe place. And uh, when the time gets better, uh, it's also a great place to travel because as it is in the center of Europe, uh, it has uh, great connections to all other capitals and cities in Europe and the surrounding countries like Berlin or Vienna and uh, many other cities. Second, the program uh compared to other programs at uh similar programs at other schools is rather multi and interdisciplinary which means that uh our program is not only a political science program as it usually is with these uh programs in international relations ir field but it covers also other parts of the discipline, such as the study of uh, economics and world economy, international modern history, international law, uh, also cultural studies uh, and many other, it has many other links to other social science or humanities disciplines. Also, uh, our program, and uh, this is because the, the school and faculty we are located at is international and multicultural, which means that uh, you can meet during your study dozens or hundreds of international foreign students who study either in other programs at the university or who are ex exchange students coming to Prague uh, for one semester from one of our over 220 partner universities. The size of our program uh, of our group is usually maximum 25 students, hence the groups are quite small, but still they are international and multicultural. Usually it's a diverse mix of students, mostly from Europe, but we've got also students from the US, Canada, Latin America, Russia, uh, Africa and other countries. Uh, another um, opportunity that offers our program is to learn business skills. Since we are part of a business school uh, in the seminars, especially apart from the theory that you are going to learn in the lectures, you have the opportunity to gain uh, very uh, very important business skills such as uh, teamwork, critical thinking, presentation skills, uh, analysis skills, etc., etc., forecasting. Uh, so uh, this is something that is, uh, I think, uh, particularly important about our program. And of course, uh, you would be interested in what is the result when you finish the program, what you can do. So from the experience of this uh, program's graduate and alumni from the past years, I can say that they are, they are having very diverse and flexible careers, uh, ranging from diplomatic careers and public service in the foreign ministries or other ministries, international organizations, through um, various global or international non-governmental organizations, NGOs, uh, or the European Union, or uh, also multinational companies, since you've got these uh, crucial business skills and you have very good knowledge of economic theory and practice. Uh, some of our graduates also work in the media, 
or um, other parts of uh, what we call the civil society. And also you are equipped for further academic work, which means, of course, you are eligible to study further, uh, for example, a PhD program at our university or, or elsewhere. Uh, what about the study? How does it look like? So very briefly, sorry, getting back uh, one slide. Uh, the academic year uh, at our school begins in September. Uh, I think this year it's going to be the third week in September. And the academic year has two semesters. Uh, we call them winter and summer semester. Uh, the winter semester uh, starts in September, ends in uh, December, and then we've got six weeks of uh, the exam period. And then again, uh, we begin the summer semester in February. Uh, we've got 13 weeks of classes and uh, in May and June, we've got six weeks of exams. And then uh, the best uh, part of the year, July and August is summer vacation. Our program, as I already mentioned, is a two year program. So you will have to pass four semesters to finish the program. You will also have to pass 120 credits. So our program is based on a credit system. You collect credits for successfully passed uh, course exams. These credits are actually um, compatible with the European uh, Union's uh, credit transfer system. Uh, and after finishing the program, you receive um, a diploma supplement, uh, which is a transcript of uh, your diploma and all your courses that you passed uh, in English. So basically the credits and your study is uh, fully transferable and recognizable at our other universities. Maybe you would be also interested uh, in the course structure. So here you can have a quick view on the courses you are going to take. Uh, there are, I guess, uh, seven uh, obligatory courses. Those are the courses in red and orange that you take during the first two semesters. Then you have uh, two elective courses that you have to elect out of available five or six courses. And then you have even more credits for uh, fully optional courses. Uh, that uh, usually are, for example, courses of visiting uh, professors from foreign universities, intensive courses, or any other courses, courses of our alumni or experts from practice, such as the director of the Czech Diplomatic Academy at the Czech Foreign Ministry, etc. Uh, the program has also an option of uh, going abroad and uh, studying uh, abroad for one semester. Uh, and you can choose out of, once again, over 220 our partner universities. Or if you don't want to leave Prague, and uh, usually our uh, students uh, take this uh, semester abroad in their third semester, which means uh, at the beginning of the second year. But if you like to stay in Prague for the whole two years, you can, because we offer also uh, some minor specializations taught at uh, our university in English. Uh, so basically it is your choice whether you decide to go for a semester abroad or whether you decide to take a minor spe specialization uh, for example, like marketing or international business at the university in Prague. The tuition fee for the program is 3,800 euro per academic year, which means you pay twice the sum to uh, finish this program. And if you have any other questions or issues regarding the money, check our website or post or ask a question uh, after uh, we uh, finish our presentations. 
now, uh, finally, regarding the application deadline and process, uh, the application deadline now is June 13th, so the end of June, uh, when we believe we could have a decision about uh, your admittance by mid-July. Of course, uh, when you apply uh, via the university system, which means only electronically, you have to supply various documents, uh, but uh, the, the uh, admission exam itself is a long distance online electronic exam, so you don't have to be present in Prague. Uh, there's an essay, uh, you are being emailed a topic uh, for which you have one day to write an essay and that date is already set and that is the 1st of July. Uh, so take a note that the 1st of July you'll be, uh, you'll need to be ready for uh, writing the essay and emailing it back within 24 hours. Then we also, as part of the admission exam, evaluate your aptitude for study, which is basically uh, that we look into uh, the documents and materials that you submit uh, and uh, we check your previous degree, we check your transcript, we check your English language knowledge, your motivation, etc. And based on that, based on the is essay and based on this aptitude for study, we decide whether we admit you or not. So once again, more information is available at our website or uh, in a few minutes when I finish uh, the presentation. Uh, that's basically all the basic facts about our program. Uh, I will be looking forward uh, to seeing you maybe uh, soon or in September in Prague at the University of Economics. And uh, now uh, I would like to ask uh, Patricia Gavlak, uh, who is one of the foreign students uh, at the University of Economics Prague, uh, if she could uh, briefly share her experience uh, about her study at the university and about her life in Prague and in the Czech Republic. Patricia, if you are here, the floor is yours. Uh, hello, thank you very, very much. Uh, so uh, my name is Patricia Gavlak. Uh, I am an international student, for, uh, student from MIMG pro program that stands for Master in Management. Um, I am completing my final year, so I am uh, preparing for the state examinations, which is our very, very big and important exam. After Good luck each, you, Patricia. Each... <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> So it's a lot of uh, a lot of studying, but it's going to be definitely rewarding at the end. Um, I'm also writing my uh, master thesis, so this is another thing that you should uh, watch out for. Um, so my experience with a University of Economics so far is very very positive. Um, we have a lot of interesting classes, uh, apart from. Um, the ones that they were shown to you. So, for example, we have co certain compulsory classes, but uh, later on in the semester, you have an option of picking uh, electives, meaning that you choose more, uh, more or less which subjects you would like to take so you can take something of your interest, which is uh, very, very good because you can you're still following the plan, but you can also have certain topics that maybe you're more drawn to. So there is also an option of of selecting different different courses. Uh, when it comes to the university itself, it's a very good facility. We have a library, restaurant, sport, uh, sport gym, and so on. So everything is within one place. And then even if you decide to stay, for example, at the dormitory, which is not that far from the university as well, you have, mm -hmm. again, a lot of great facilities. There's gyms, outdoors areas. It's there is really a lot, a lot for you to do. So that's more or less about the university itself and um, and the dormitory. And then when it comes to living in Prague, 
I would highly recommend Prague to anyone because it's a uh, it's a great city. It's a very big city. It's uh, I think it's the second second greenest city in in Europe, following the uh, following Vienna, from the bigger city. So it there's plenty of things to do. So regardless of your interests and hobbies, I'm hundred percent sure you will find something for yourself in the city of Prague. It's very easy to move around. And it's relatively cheap comparing to to other capital cities within Europe. So uh, that is just a very very brief explanation and of what Prague and our university is. And I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. So maybe if anyone of you have some questions to me, I'll be happy to answer. And maybe if you're a little bit shy and you don't want to ask them now, I will drop my email address uh, into the Com uh, into the comments into our chat and whoever feels like they have some questions doesn't matter if it's about university if it's about Prague Czech Republic anything that you, you might be worried or interested in just please send me the message and I will be more than happy happy to answer so thank you okay thank you Patricia uh, thank you for being with us and helping uh, our future students. Uh, now I would like to ask my colleague uh, once again, Ms. Eva Griby, who is the program coordinator. Uh, she already has a few questions, I guess, that we received, uh, collected, uh, is that she will uh, begin with. And then if you've got any questions uh, apart from those uh, that she will be answering now, just post them in the chat or uh, just uh, connect with us uh, in a few minutes. So Eva, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you here. Uh, I apologize beforehand if you hear something that sounds like a helicopter. Uh, that's just um, my computer, unfortunately. I did receive some of the questions that um, some of the interested applicants have posted via the international office. So let me start with those. I'll always read it and um, so that you know what the question was and maybe it might answer the question you might have right now live. So what well, first question was, can school fees be paid in installment and how much? Um, the tuition fee is 3,800 euros per academic year. Usually it is paid by each semester. So you pay 1,900 euros per each semester, always at the beginning or before the semester starts. And yes, even this amount could be paid in installments. Um, I think we had um, experience that sometimes students pay in uh, maximum three installments each uh, semester. What are the admission conditions? Is there any chance of my being accepted after graduating at other university in Czech Republic? The admission conditions, please visit our website where you will find them or you can review again what the academic director has just told you about, what the admission conditions are. There are some mandatory enclosures and there is the long distance admission essay. Um, if there is a chance of being accepted after graduating other university, you do have to have a bachelor's degree to be enrolled into our program. However, you might be in a process of obtaining the bachelor's degree when you apply. Next question is related to visa. Uh, let's see, if eventually I get admission, will I pay tuition fee before I receive acceptance letter? for the visa purposes and if yes, what is the amount? And then uh, I suppose a general question about visa materials. So yes, if you are admitted and offered a spot in our program, we do provide you automatically with the documents that you need for your visa application. Uh, we do not assist you in your visa application process, but we do provide you with all the visa application documents, including a document about the dormitory, uh, because you as a student in an English taught degree program, you have a guaranteed spot at our university's dormitory should you be interested in one. And uh, the tuition fee uh, usually should be paid um, 
it could be paid after you receive the documents, uh, but um, it needs to be paid before the semester starts and for us to ensure that you are interested in the spot. Um, once you once we provide you with the documents and you choose um, not to enroll with us, uh, we do have an announcement, so-called an announcement, um, manda, um, mandatory requirement to our ministry. So we will have to report such situation if um, the documents were issued, but where you were not at the end enrolled as a student. Another question about the program fee, about installments. Um, so that one was answered before. And next is, I would like to know about language requirements, whether my, to whether, uh, my TOEFL test, I did not fulfill the required score. Can I apply for the, uh, for the program? Yes, you can apply, but please indicate that the score, you still have to upload the TOEFL results with the documents in our application system and if it doesn't meet the requirement you will have to retake it you will have to uh, if you're offered the spot and to be enrolled you need to retake the exam or any other uh, accepted english certificate exams that are listed on our website and the final question that is here available for me uh, is what companies do you coordinate with? Uh, I suppose you mean what companies do we cooperate with? And uh, um, I, I want to be honest, I do not know how to answer that question because we do not cooperate with any companies. Um, you are a student uh, and uh, you are not in our program required to participate in an internship. So we do not cooperate with uh, companies uh, while you are a student. All right. But maybe uh, we could explain that there is an option of an internship. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, there are at the Faculty of International Rela Relations for Masters seeking degree uh, students. Uh, there are internships available, and you could you could uh, you could participate in one should you be meeting the requirements that the organizations um, that we work with. Uh, are looking for and um, if i could just add something i don't know if it's really relating to the questions but if this is kind of going in direction of finding a job that's also something you can send me an email to and we also have the jobs fair uh, oh, each semester oh, yes, at our yes. university so if if it's more looking for a job rather than the internship this is also another option that we have so it's 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 a lot of opportunities from our university and sorry for interrupting <laughs> no perfect thank you thank you for your addition and your comment yes uh, that's a good point uh, there is um, a job fair organized at the university of economics prague twice a year and uh, all students and graduates are always welcome and they have free access to to the prospective employers and you even have um, someone who might be able to help you out with uh, your resume or advise you on a job search. If you have any questions uh, and you're not shy, you can open your microphone up and ask it via microphone or you can uh, send it via a chat to us. I, at the moment, I do not see any any new questions. So I'm going to mute myself for a little bit. Let's just see if there are any new questions and then I'll give the floor back to the academic director. Maybe if there are currently no questions, I just uh, would like to share with you I'm sorry. 
share with you the right now it should be the right window uh, so this is our website and uh, you could find uh, many answers to the questions that we actually had at this website where you can actually see uh, that we've got uh, the info about uh, our facilities and services, about teaching you Czech language, about the sports options, accommodation, campus and facilities in the campus, library, academic and psychological counseling, career counseling that the university offers, with, which includes also those uh, job fairs that we mentioned, student activities and other information. We've got also a section uh, about and for the alumni. So uh, the website is really full of information. So uh, I'm sure you will find most uh, of those answers there. If not, of course, uh, you can always ask us. But I guess uh, if any of the participants here don't have any questions, we'll maybe wait for one or two more minutes and then we'll just say goodbye uh, so that we don't wait uh, for too long here. Uh, I'd like to thank before that to uh, my colleagues, to Eva, uh, for helping me and to Jana Stehlikova and the International Office and the Office of Public Relations of the University for help, helping us to organize the event. And also I'd like to thank to Patricia to coming and being uh, available uh, for our students uh, or for those who are interested in studying at our program. So last option uh, for questions and uh, after a minute or so I would uh, stop the presentation.